Hi you guys, it's Dan aka Dr. Script. I'm back with a brand new episode for you, brand new video. Today we're going to be showing you how we can use Google Scripts to automate our spreadsheets. We're going to format them today, uh, so i.e. where we've got certain values, we're going to change the colour of that cell. And I'm going to show you how you can do that with Google Script, a bit like um, conditional formatting, but we're going to be using scripts to do that. Uh, before I go on and show you how we can do that, uh, I'd just like to bring your attention to my brand new book, which is out now. It's available on Amazon, so link is in the description below. Go ahead, click on there, $6.99 for the paper book, or if you've got Kindle Unlimited, it's available for free. So with that done, I'm going to move on. We're going to show you some script, and we're going to write it together. So, as always, guys, the first thing we're going to want to do is give our sheet a name. So let's go on and call that format sheet so our new spreadsheet has got a name format sheet so as i said what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at formatting a sheet um so there's just a couple of uh, values that i'm going to use when looking at um how we're going to format it so the first one i'm going to do is low medium and then high so i'm just going to put those values in there which don't really mean a lot right now but hopefully as we go through this they will so we're going to click on extensions we're going to go to app script and open up that app script so the first thing we want to do is we're going to want to give our function a name so let's get rid of that my function and let's call it format sheet so we've now given our function a name so for those of you that have seen my videos before as you'll know we always write our function within the two curly brackets as always first thing we're going to do is create a variable uh, which we can call upon later that variable as you should know by now is always starting with sheet so the first variable is always sheet because the first thing we need to do is we need to look up our spreadsheet our active spreadsheet so we're going to go into spreadsheet app then get active sheet that's getting our active sheet within this spreadsheet next variable that we want to create is data so to call upon that we need to know what sheet we're looking at well the sheet we're looking at is sheet so we've already called upon that variable that we declared a second ago and we're going to go with get data range because we want to know the data range within the sheet and we need to get the values within that data range so now this is where it gets a little bit tricky we're going to start opening up a loop so a loop is something that can go through each spreadsheet and make a change on each iteration depending on what we state that we want to make so we're going to open our loop so our loop is going to be written inside some curly brackets but the first thing we need to to tell this sheet or this function sorry is what we want to do within that that loop So we need to tell it where we want to start. So, sorry, we need to tell it where we want to start. So first of all, we need to create another variable. So we want to start at i. So we're going to call that variable i, sorry. And i is going to be equal to zero. So that's going to be the first row of data in that spreadsheet. And then we want to continue on. to where that row of data is less than data dot length so basically what we're going to say is when we get to that last row of data we want to skip out of it and we want to keep going through it one at a time 
So now we're going to open our curly brackets. So now this is where we tell it what we want to do inside that loop. So we've told it that we want to look start at the first row, we want to finish at the last row, and we want to go through one row at a time. Now we need to tell it what we want to do. So we're just going to create a variable now. So the variable is going to be the data. That's what we're going to need to call upon later. Um, and then Sorry, the variable is going to be row. My apologies. The variable is going to be row. And we're we'll calling up when we're calling upon the variable data that we declared earlier. Um, and then we want to look at the row which we're currently in, which is going to be I. So every time it goes through a row, I the number will change. So it, the first row i will equal to zero on the second row i will equal to one so what this is going to do is if we're looking at the second row it's going to equal i is going to change to one so now we need to put an if function in we write that if function again inside the, of brackets so if row zero is equal to pi and we want it to do something so again we've got to write that inside our curly brackets What we're going to want it to do is we're going to want it to go to sheet we're going to want it to get a range and that range is going to be i plus one that's the row that we're starting at column that we're starting at which is column one um then how many rows we're going to look at one row how many columns so row dot length and then what we want to do is we want to set a crown now, very simply here we can literally just type in the color that we want to send no magic formula no manage magic ca uh, code we just literally write the color that we want to set that background to so that gives us our first if but what happens if that row is something else well very simply we write else so if it ain't that what we need to do or so if it isn't that and it's something else if it's this we need to do something else so else if row and then we're literally just going to write the same again zero equals so let's say this time it equals medium we're going to want to set it to a different color aren't we so again we're going to open those curly brackets because it's now a different if function and then we can literally just copy that And we can paste it and change the color so this time it could be yellow what happens if it's not medium or it's not high what can we do then that's right we're just going to write another else if 
and we're going to go right so exactly the same process again um, and if that equals low we want to do something else again we can literally just paste that back in and we can change that to another color so this time it could be green and that is the function in itself so essentially what we're saying here is if any of those cells in that row equal high we want it to be red if it equals medium we want it to be yellow if it equals low we want it to be green it's as simple as that that should now work there should be no issues go back into my formatted sheet we've got low we've got medium we got high green yellow red so low is green low is green medium is yellow high is red so that is how we format a sheet using Google Scripts. Obviously, there's so much more that we can do. And if there is something specific that you're looking for or looking to do in a format sheet or a formatting within Google Scripts, make sure you comment down below. Um, make sure you check out the links that I've got in there. So you'll have a link um, to a Word document that, that holds this data and it explains each row um, and, and what that does for you. Uh, there's a link down there which has got access to uh, my book which is now out um, and as always make sure that you like comment share subscribe all of that guys and i'll see you on the next video